Alright, and welcome back to Draymond Does Gaming Playing some more Life is Strange. Um, I, just, I really like this opening music. It's so nice. Um, we were on episode 2, Out of Time. We're going to just hit con that continue button and continue where we were. Uh, we just came out of the diner with Chloe. And we're making our way to her special spot. Which looks a little run down. I don't remember if we did this cutscene the last time, so we'll we'll play through it again in case. Is this a race? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That mm. depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. <laughs> Raw yep. and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. Well, it's not always about fun. You can definitely tell who's got their heads on their David shoulders. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be. Like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet. Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Hmm. Drink? Yuck. You yeah, were so agreed. cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer right. and guns? <laughs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles. Pretty please. Yeah. She definitely needs someone in her life to help her out so i guess that's going to be us um one thing that i wanted to check out too is yeah so we oh we have 10 new ones to look through we've only done like the first bit of this chapter or of this episode okay i guess we're going to spend a little bit of time reading at the beginning here and then we'll get into the gameplay uh, okay, so I'm another one. Then I found a photo of Chloe with Rachel Amber. Chloe freaked and laid into me for not calling her once. I deserved it. She had become best friends with Rachel, and they were going to bail on Arcadia Bay and head out to Los Angeles for fame and fortune. We tell how much Chloe cared about Rachel since she was the one putting up the posters, yeah? I felt even about leaving Chloe alone all these years when she needed me. You suck, Max. But Chloe is obsessed with Rachel, the missing girl. She says Rachel vanished after meeting some amazing dude, probably some psycho online. Mm-hmm, you gotta be very careful about that, especially this day and age. Um, Chloe wanted to smoke out and be alone, so I went downstairs, find tools, fix the camera. Hello! Snooping deeper, I hit the paranoia jackpot and found a whole mini surveillance setup of Chloe's house, with cameras in the halls, some rooms, truly creepy. What kind of uber paranoid puts cameras throughout his own home? Chloe's stepfather, I guess. And I can imagine, like, cameras on the outside of your home, but inside? Yeah, it's crazy. I guess I see why she's got serious attitude. When I got it back upstairs, I couldn't fix the stupid camera, but Chloe saw the butterfly photo and knew I was in the bathroom, set off the alarm, her attitude totally changed, and she realized I saved her life. Even though it could have gone the other way, she was so happy like when we were kids, and it was great to see her face light up. So even... She even gave me her dad's awesome old Instamatic as a symbol of our reunion. She cranked up the tunes and started dancing on her bed like a maniac. Yep. She even got me to shake my booty just a bit. That's when Chloe's stepfather showed up and it was David Madsen. I had hide in the closet and then David came in, angry about the music. He was even scarier off campus because he didn't have the high school around him. He accused Chloe of taking one of his guns, then shit got real. David found Joey Chloe's joint and flipped out on her. She didn't back down and he actually slapped her. Yeah, that was not cool. I thought Chloe would be pissed. I didn't step in to help, but she didn't think it would matter. We decided to get out there and catch up on our exploring like best friends. So we ended up at the lighthouse watching the sunset. Chloe was mellow and told me more about David and his uber paranoia at school and at home. It all made sense. But I wanted to know why Chloe was in that bathroom with Nathan Prescott. She told me he deals drugs and she wanted to blackmail him to pay off some big loan. It's so strange where our lives have gone since the last time we hung out when we were 13. And the lot changes in a very short amount of time. So that's something that you always have to think about. You know, it's not it's not just the next day, right? 
it's how how much things can change in what doesn't seem like a long time so you always need to keep that in perspective then I had another nightmare or duskmare I was right back at the lighthouse in the storm except this time I was following a ghostly deer until I got to the edge of the cliff I could see the tornado destroying everything in its path and again I could feel the cold sing sting of the ring the lighthouse was crumbling and I felt so helpless watching the tornado move towards the town. Then Chloe snapped me out of the dream and I told her what I saw. And as if to make the day end on another unusual note, snow started falling from the sky in the warm sunset. It felt so weird, ominous, and beautiful all at once. Especially standing there with my best friend. And on that positive thought, I've officially earned a great night's sleep. And I don't know why my dog is going off, so... Just give me a moment here. Okay. She has calmed down. Okay. Um, I woke up this morning a different person, even if nobody knows yet. After yesterday's intense revelations with my rewind power and saving Chloe's life, among the other stuff, uh, that could be crazy, Victoria might say, say, yeah. Events at Blackwell, I have to assume everything is different now, and I thought exposing my photos to the world was going to be hard. Chloe dropped me off back at the dorm, tried out, tried to find out more about that freak snowfall that happened when we were at the lighthouse, but the local meteorologists are stumped so far. I felt so jacked up, I pulled an all-nighter on time and physics research. Not being worn, I, I end up knowing less about my situation than when I started. I don't really think that my tornado vision and the snowfall are connected, but at this point I have no clue what to believe, so I'm just glad Chloe and I are team again. That has to be destiny. Now I have to hit the showers, get ready to meet Chloe for breakfast, Lord knows I need it. I ran into Kate, and she asked about the October Country, uh, or for the October Country back. I love that book and definitely need to get my own copy. Of course, when I was in the shower, Victoria and Taylor barged in, totally started ragging on her about a video, just to be complete but they wrote the link on the mirror. I truly don't understand how they get off acting like that. Victoria has everything. What does she gain by being a bully to Kate Marsh? Agreed. We're supposed to be adults here, but I swear it's like Battle Royale. Yeah. With just without the dystopian and exploding heads, and that's uh, the reference to the novel, not the games. Um, only Victoria could make me feel dirty in a shower. Yeah, that's very true. The plot thickens and I can't get out. So after listening to Victoria and Taylor rag on Kate about the video, came back to my room, find this creepy photo montage. Only Nathan could be, would be this disturbed. The thought that Nathan was in here actually setting up this weird gallery is way messed up. I'd better start being more careful around here. I almost want a surveillance system now. As if things weren't dramatic enough, I got a creepy text from a private number. Nathan, Victoria, no clue. I really have to start watching my back. I still had to get... Kate's book back, so when I went to her room, I knew she wasn't doing good, but I didn't know how bad until I went in. All the lights were off, blinds closed, like some emo goth den. And Kate is the opposite of emo or goth. She was just crying in the dark, and it was so sad to see her like this. More sad is that I wished I could take a picture of her framed in her expressionist misery. You know, it would have been a great picture, but also not the time for it. Kate admitted she thinks something more happened to her than just a video, plus she told me that Nathan Prescott gave her a ride from the party of the ER, and she thinks he did something to her, but she doesn't remember what. It's hard not to believe Kate, considering what kind of person she is and what kind of person Nathan is. I've seen um, for myself exactly what that guy is capable of. Yeah, agreed, and that is the right word for him right there. <laughs> of course, Kate asked if she should go to the police on the principal. Um, you should... You... So... And this is where we have one of our big like points of contention like oh what do we do do we do we tell her yes go there or do we tell her no don't um 99.9 percent .9 of the time you do that you go to the police you go to the principal you report anything after the fact right in this case in this game and i and i say game just because that's what this is it might not always necessarily be the right choice because as we saw the principal is kind of linked to nathan prescott 
And in this case, if you tell the principal, he's going to tell Nathan, who's going to obviously, you know, not be great. So I don't know if this is the right choice in the game, but it's definitely the right choice in life. Um, other people could definitely be in danger. But Kate also said she would use me as backup, which kind of scares me because of this text threat. Should I be getting this involved when somebody's obviously stalking me, or worse already, this is getting freakier than I can handle? Supermax, not. In, yeah, it is extremely creepy and hard to put yourself into those positions, but sometimes you need to. So, I ran into Warren, or rather, Warren was waiting to run into me. Naturally, he wanted to know what the hell happened in the parking lot with Chloe and Nation Show. Once again, I felt like a, well, yeah because I should have gotten a hold of Warren to see if he was okay after we just left him in the lot. I do owe Warren. Well, I told him a little bit about what was going on with Nathan. The less he knows, the better for him. I'd love to at least tell him about my ability to reverse time and space, but ironically, I don't think it's the right time or space. Very ironic. Besides, he would want to marry me immediately, so just so he could have his own human time machine, or catch me for scientific experiments, or make me go the drive-in with him. Oh wait, I did say I would go the drive-in with him. Hope he doesn't make a lame move on me. Not that he would, egomaniac. Or and I do have a lot in common, but he's a super, he's like a super cool geek brother. Anyways, I definitely need a movie escape. Interesting. So, into the mind of Max here, not interested in Warren as much, right? More like a brother than anything else. So that's something we need to keep, um, keep in check as well. Before catching the bus out to meet Chloe, I saw Nathan talking to David, which makes me nervous. I would say so. Otherwise, I had a nice soundtrack ride to the Two Whales Diner. Talk about going back in time. I haven't seen the diner in five years, but it looks exactly the same. Although now there's way less fishermen, way more dumped food carts than we were kid. Chloe and I had the best backdrop to play pirate, old ships in a big ocean. Chloe was late, duh. So I was happy to be distracted by seeing Joyce again. The diner is like a museum piece, except with customers. Better still, the food hasn't changed at all. Joyce seemed really glad to see me again, and she didn't give me a guilt trip for not staying in touch. After William died, she wanted to move forward with a new life and husband. Chloe doesn't want to accept that. And that's one of the hard things: is how how can you get how can you accept what's going on in your life, right? Um there's no there's no answer to it people have to figure it out on their own a lot of the time uh it's not a great option but you know if you come to that point in life where things happen and you don't know what to do like you need to reach out and it sounds like chloe never did she's trying to bottle it all up and this is what's happening here and that's not healthy for anyone so Joyce wasn't happy about Chloe getting busted um, I really should have stepped up and taken the hits to Chloe I feel bad that Joyce has to defend David for laying the smack down on his own stepdaughter uh, while he was kind and gentle with us can't even imagine how Chloe would be if he hadn't died you know so much drama and I haven't even finished my breakfast finally Chloe showed up more bubbly than I would have thought after almost getting killed in the bathroom yesterday it makes me happy to see her smile but that smile meant trouble since all she wanted to was for me to show off my rewind power so i did and i have to admit i feel like a total boss except i did start feeling weak and woozy the more i rewound and got a nosebleed which kind of freaked me out which is not great so generally things like that means don't do it right unless it's necessary don't just do it for fun don't just do it because do it because i'm about to die someone shot me let's rewind two minutes or let's rewind 30 seconds so i can duck <laughs> you know that type of thing um chloe's always wants more so then we go to her top secret lair she still had to get pissed off at me because i dared to answer kate's call i, I don't really care <laughs> she needed that call if you ever have a friend like kate who's going down that rabbit hole towards what well, i'm assuming is suicide um you answer their call no matter what Sometimes they just need a voice. They just need that somebody to pick up and know that they're there. So you always answer that call, no matter what. I don't care about where you're at, you answer that call. Um, she tried to make me feel like a butt, 
But screw that, Kate was so happy I answered. I actually felt worse for her. Chloe has to know I can have two friends at once. Exactly. Okay. Um, oh, we have Joyce in here now. Okay. So talking to Joyce Price after five years was almost as intense as seeing Chloe again, especially right back in the old uh, two, while, two Whales Diner. That clinking of silverware and the smell of sizzling bacon rewound me back. Oh, man, that's very hungry now. Uh, hanging out there to my with my parents for breakfast. I remember her always smiling at Chloe, even in mischief. Don't she smiles at her hijinks now, but they still banned her like mother and daughter. I moved to Seattle so soon after William died that I never saw how it affected Joyce. I'm glad she's not pissed at me for being selfish and never looking back. Well, it's not selfish. It's not your, it's not our fault that we moved to Seattle, right? Um, it's our fault we didn't call and things like that, but it's also their fault for not checking in as well. So it's not, not just one side of a coin right here where things happen. It's everybody that happens. One person leaving doesn't mean that they still can't keep in touch. It takes two two to tango, as they would say, right? We could call, they could call a bunch of different things. We could write, they could write. Um, but if no one does that, then it's on everybody. Um, I wonder how often Joyce relives that day. Yeah, the worst kind of rewind, one you can't control. But if I could go back to that moment, what would I do? Can only imagine how she ended up with David Madsen, talk about opposites, you can tell she loves him, disturbing as that sounds, maybe she just wants a more structured life uh, for herself. Obviously, it <laughs> didn't work out that way with Chloe, hope they both treat her right, Joyce deserves the best. Okay. Yep. And this is just, okay. Okay. Alright, so there we go. So now, let's take a look and see if we can find... All the bottles and things here. One. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. Okay. This place is a little creepy. I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. Yep. Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. All right. How do we get there, though? All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? Uh, neither, really. It's it is an interesting place, that's for sure. An old doll weird. Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. Yep. I don't like that sound, whatever that was. Every car has its own tale and history. Okay. Anything over here? Doesn't look it. Oh, use truck. I imagine we can't go that way, so I won't even try to bother. School bus. Nice. It's hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. Yep. Look what we have here. A cute little bottle for the taking. <sighs> Stupid bottle. Okay. Hmm. So... Aha. We'll do that instead. There we go. Much easier. <laughs> I mean, it is a cool power. Only three bottles left. To be able to do something like that. There goes a train. So sad to look at a grounded boat. 
I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Yep. That is the question for sure. Washing machine. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Um, several. <laughs> it looks pretty darn old. This area back here. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. Okay. Where are you going? That dough is the perfect photo op. I imagine that's not going to come out, but you never know. So, what's over here then? Is I imagine be some sort of secret thing with it. Seems to be as um, the janitor would say, possibly our spirit animal, right? So. I don't see anything over here. So maybe there isn't. Piece of clothing. This was an old school punk shirt. Yep. Sure was. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Yep. Imagine it's... Oh, maybe it's back here then? No. Tons of trash, got it. I mean, we are in a junkyard, so that makes sense. Um, can't get across there, got it. Graffiti eaten. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> nice. Lovely. I don't want to go that way. Got it. Too far. Julie and Zachary. Got it. We go in here. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. Wow. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. That kind of hurts. Ooh. All right. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. No. That's got to be... Rachel's. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Yep. Could have been. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. Probably. Oh, it just says Rachel's song. It's okay. <laughs> Ouch. I agreed. Ouch. Three la, down, la. two more to go. Sweet. Talk nice. about finding a bottle in a haze. I want to die. Jeez. <sighs> Jeez. Who wrote this? Agreed. Not great. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, hit me up anytime you have We are so going eight Newburgh is sixty miles, so we should leave around five. Hell yeah, we will if you can you ride supplies, maybe a dinner first, or whatever. Anyway, go wait. Too late. Neat. So, Chloe was here, Rachel was here. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. Um. They would have gone right all the way that. to Los Angeles for a rave. 
Looks fun. Do we want to right there too? That seems not great to do. Like she'll be mad at us. Like, hey, well, you weren't actually here. Rachel, Chloe, got it. Okay. All right. So we want to go figure out how to get up here, right? All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Oh yeah, we already Am did I that one. or just goth? So how do we get that? How do we get up there? This way? Oh yeah, this way. Got it. Um, a football? The Bigfoots were here. Yeah, seems to be the case. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Okay. That's four. One more bottle to go. Hmm. Where would be the last one? We already looked around up here. Now we just have to go off my looketing skills and, well, they're terrible. I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill? Not fair. Agreed. I have to prep the range, crybaby? And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. You From God? Or the gods? So, bow. <laughs> we can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? Uh... No, no way. I still don't even know how my power works, or for how long. Exactly. Dude, you fuck shit up, you rewind, you fix it. Drop the mic, boom. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by yep. saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. I hate that. <laughs> I hate having that, like, be the thing. Like, we're already having nosebleeds from it and stuff, so it's like, how about, no. Already looked this way. We got the bottle from over here. So, where is the other one? We'd be like, hey, come help us find it, because I have no idea. Aha. Got it. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Yeah. Voila. Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Okay. All right. Uh, Max, I want to say thank you for giving me such great advice, but I'm please telling him everything. Appreciate you standing by me. Kate, I'm on your side. Please don't mention me too much if you can. I'm already in trouble around here. And thanks so much for talking to me this morning. I was about to have a serious cry needed friend. You were there as usual. That. This. Right there. That is why. That is always why. Let me take a picture of you. All right, we got all five bottles. We're back. We didn't die. Almost. Thanks, Max. Yeah, that's always a recipe for disaster. Wait, one more for the road? Never mix alcohol and guns. This. We're going to shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. What? Ow. Show me the way, Max. 
I need to see you shoot first. Okay. Breathe away, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Okay. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. <laughs> aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Yeah. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. This... this is just bad. Give me something to shoot, Max. How about the TV? I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. Old school. Okay. Lame. She want to do something else then? Give me something to shoot, Max. How about that thing? Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Okay, that was probably nice the right shot. Tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Well, Max? Let's see what happens when you shoot the gas tank. Uh, Step back, gas tank seems... go boom. Seems like a terrible decision. Yeah. Yeah, let's not do the gas tank. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> Jesus, I shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! Stupid gun! Hold on, Chloe. Yeah. That's that's why you don't mix guns with alcohol. Jesus, I shot okay, myself. Okay, so we actually have to go farther Ugh, back. I shot myself. Back up, back Stupid up. Stupid gun. Hold on, Chloe. All right. Well, Max, how about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Uh, well, Uber we got cool. all of them. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, that's not Max, good. your nose. Damn. Please stop making me do stuff just I for your don't fun. I feel so super. Max! Wow, that was loud. So hopefully she learns that this is it's not a toy power to use, to continually use. It's like killing me. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Yeah. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. 
I better go chat up Chloe. Okay. Uh, let's check if we've got... Yeah, this one I thought was going to get crazier. So he took me to Secret Lair, City Dump, Perfect Halloween. Uh, like where the vehicle and appliance ghosts of Arcadia Bay come to rot and rest. Urban dystopia. But instead of taking cool photos, Chloe had me doing some kind of silly tricks with her guns. Yeah. All right. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Um, hey, that's a person. Stelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now, That's and I... That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit! Give it to me right now, asshole! You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me uh, to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Um, well, I mean, he's got a knife. I can rewind. That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me, and you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. I think that's fine. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. I think the don't shoot is probably worse. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's Nothing. blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost yeah. shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Yeah, that's the case. But I think if we rewind... Wow, sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. I think this is fine. I think this is the path we want to take. I don't think we want to take something else or do it a different way here. The, uh... Stood up for her. Almost shot him. He had a knife. Could have, could have just stabbed us. But he didn't. If we use it the other way and don't shoot, what, it would be take the gun? And that would probably be worse. So. And... Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a timeout from yeah. here. Well, let's do this. But, man, Chloe is not exactly great for us. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You no, have that's the not. Power. You're gross. That's not Don't how. Fall. Man, Chloe, think about this. Use your head. I'm just glad you were here. Me you saw too. when I used the power before, I right? I almost Chloe, died. Why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Yeah. You really do need to talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Why are we lying on the train tracks? Can we build another pirate board and keep the world out? 
If we need a new secret hangout, at least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm still freaked out about what happened. Yeah. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. Yeah. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Bowers. That name sounds familiar. Hung out? You don't mean you... Uh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful yeah. and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Uh, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens. And it's like no time has passed. That's what happens with friends. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... Has a great eye for images and for art. Hmm. Plus, she's a smartass like you. Interesting. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. Hmm. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. Yep. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. That's hard to do. Perfect. Ah! Just rips right through the uh, the audio. Max! Max! Help! I got stuck. Hold on, what? Chloe. Great. What's that noise? The train. Oh shit. Okay. Can we use this? Come on. Get me out of here, Max. Um, can we get up here? Come on, Max. Hurry. Something in here that we can use. Please get me out of here. Are we not gonna open the door? Shit, I can't budge it at all. Um. Push. Damn, something is blocking the drum. <sighs> okay, well, we're trying to figure out what we can and cannot do here. The train's coming! Max, I please. can definitely use this bad boy. Okay, so we have crowbar. Max, get me out of here! And then I think we want to rewind. Right to here. Crowbar it open. Uh, score. Before, before things happen here. Um, drawer, drawer, drawer. What is in here? Come on, Max. Hurry. Um, we'll take pliers. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. Nothing in that one. Max! Nothing in that one. Okay. Okay. And then we want to go back. I don't want to die here! Kidding, you don't. Come on, Max! 
me use the fires on something here? Um. Please get me out of here. I can't even move it with this crowbar. For real? All right. Max! Awesome. It's not locked. Well, we'll use the pliers but here. Which wire to cut? Usually red. Now that's the right cable. Yes, I did it. Ooh, okay. You okay? You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn, that was close. Why you don't play Aren't you glad with trains? I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? On, it was cool to spend time in your on train tracks, even. I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. Yeah. That's okay. We will. Forever. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Mm. Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals the ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? <laughs> You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Yeah. What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a Interesting. girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Let's not. Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Yeah. Okay. the vortex club this october ugh gross i okay. have a little time before mr jefferson's class so i can do some wandering okay well it has been an so hour. are you going to that vortex club party like i would miss it i have the sweetest outfit <laughs> well let's let's talk here for a minute let's put it into into here um, to the guy Chloe owes money uh, to show owes money to showed up some skeevy guy called Frank he demanded um, Chloe pay him back or else a shock that he wasn't the loan shark I expected where I could literally feel his bad vibe I still can't see how my best friend ended up involved with a loser like Frank and I almost shot him pulled a knife on us uh, that's probably something we need to <laughs> take a note of and remember um, and it felt like another one of my dreams um i don't even remember aiming the gun at him but my finger just tapped against the trigger thank god there were no bullets left i could have used the rewind but the way my head was throbbing who knows exactly so this is something like we should be careful or cautious in the way that we're using it i don't know if that's a mechanic in this where it might be something that if we use it too much, things happen. If it's predetermined when those scenes happen, um, or things like that. But it's something to be aware of and take note of. Um, can't take anything for granted. I just know I'm never holding another gun. Yeah. After all that drama, volume 33, Chloe and I ended up taking a walk along the tracks, the woods. We need to hear nothing but the sounds of nature and wildlife. It's shaking inside from our encounter. And though 
So your friend's tough. I could tell she was shaking too. Yep, exactly. Um. Um, she told me everything about Frank, which explains why she was trying to blackmail Nathan. Shocks me that the girl I grew up watching Spongebob ended up in a scary orbit. Still, I felt safer with her at my side, and I was glad we had a moment of peace. So it probably wasn't the best idea to lay down on the tracks and wax about life, etc. As Chloe's legs got stuck. Right. Uh, of course I was trying to take a photo for my purporeal, then I had another quick flash of my tornado vision. I could see it, almost feeling it, tearing the sky apart. My head felt like it was exploding just like that 80s film Scanners. Just as fast as the vision came in, it disappeared. I may be in denial about this apocalyptic image means or what it doesn't. And I heard her scream for help. Her foot was stuck in the rail and naturally the train was coming around the mountain. <laughs> of course, right? Um, I was pretty proud of myself for coming up with a drastic, if not destructive, solution of saving Chloe once again. Uh, I want to iterate once again. Is this going to be our new normal? Saving her? Because she's not understanding that we don't... We shouldn't be using this just because. Um, pause in the wrong hands. I'm going to remain our BFF, etc. Our morning adventure over. Chloe dropped me off back at the campus. She's so sweet. It had been the best week of her life despite everything. That made me feel so awesome. Um, really sees like we're taking over the world. But what if I hadn't been able to use my rewind power to get her off the tracks? She might have to lower her expectations, and so will I. Exactly. She's got to not be, like, feeling so indestructible. Because that's not the case. It's killing us. So. We have Frank. Uh, I'll never for forget Frank, if only because he's the first and last person I hopefully ever aim a gun at. How did Chloe end up in the sketchy drug dealer's orbit? Your thing is that when I saw him first thought in Chloe in the junkyard is more shocked how uncreepy he looked. Especially some try-hard gangster, he looked more like a dumpster driving troll. You know? Okay. Unfortunately, never ended. None of us ended up like Reservoir Dwags. Love that movie. And I saw that maybe Frank isn't as scary as I thought, but I don't want him to be Chloe near him ever again. Since he was reaching, wearing one of Rachel Lambert's bracelets for whatever reason, uh, he's on top of our suspect list. Okay. But with that, we are going to call it here. Um, hope you're enjoying the, the episodes, and we'll see you then.